Something else you can do in photo gallery is create a panorama picture. You take several shots. I took six of them here. And then you go to create. Select your pictures. Click on Panorama, and it's going to stitch all your pictures into a great panoramic photo. You save it, it's there so you can see the picture. Here it is. You can adjust the exposure after that. original so that was under create I also have more tools download more photo tools open with and I can select another application from here like paint or fireworks Photoshop etc under create you can also order some prints you can email the picture you can select the size of your photo and you can attach it. Here's my email. Here's my picture. And then send it. You can also put your picture on a blog if you click on blog post, it's going to take you to Windows Live Writer 2011. You go to WordPress, SharePoint, or other services. Create a new blog. It's going to ask you to register with WordPress. And after that, you can create your blog. You can also take your picture to Live Movie Maker, and you can add music to it. You can add a title. Okay, you can add your transparency. You can have a different background color. I want to select black. You can select the way your text comes in. Okay. You can do an animation. I'm going to select this one. You can go to visual effects. You can go to project. Fit the music to your project. You can edit, options to split it, and format. You can save your movie, save your project, and you have a movie of it. Also, you can save that picture on SkyDrive, the cloud, and you have to register for that. You have to have your sign-in username and password, but it is free. You can upload it to Facebook, to YouTube, to Flickr, and you can also post it on live groups. You can add a plug-in here. You can manage your services. So I'm going to go back to edit, and like I said, you can do so many different effects on this picture. And you can also revert to original. I'm going to close the file, and that is my panoramic photo.